I am the most famous comedian in Austria. I am also the only comedian in Austria. Scheiße. I wanted to wait for a special occasion to come out to my family. What are you doing with your old wedding dress, Mama? For you? It's about time. Thank you, Auntie. I realized it was time for me to go. I found a friend and the perfect home and was ready to start my new life. It's beautiful here, isn't it? Yes, I can see the tower bridge from my window. Mom, within one week, I got a comedy gig in the West End. So, so, so no wedding? No, I, I won't come back. But what about Hansel? So, I need a new Tinder photo. Oh, uh, by the way, my uh, landlady called and she won't be here for four weeks, so you could stay here if you want. I'd love to. Are these my... Yes, those little black dots in your bed. They were bed bugs. Pest control says you can't use your room for a week. But why are they in the fridge? How long will it take them to become dead? She said I'm not capable of having a long-term relationship and that I'm insecure and self-obsessed. Could you believe she had me stand in the corner and think about my feelings? The woman from pest control? <gasps> no, my therapist. Cleaning? Yes, I color coded the kitchen. I need a favor. Can you do a session with her and see if she's any good? Can't you just go to a different therapist? No, because it's like really close to my gym. Come on, it's a free therapy session. How could you say no? And yes, I couldn't say no. How are you? Good, thank you. Brilliant. That'll be £75, please. Joke. <laughs> it's always good to start with a laugh, isn't it? So what was your name again? Liesl Frick. Is that your real name? Yes. And what is your problem? Or is that your problem? My problem? Well, actually... <sighs> oh, sorry. <clears throat> we have a turn it off policy here. Sorry, it's just my parents. Yes, I have parent problems because they think I have a job and earn good money and live in a beautiful flat. Well, a lot of people your age have a job and a decent place to live. But it is okay because we are okay. Everyone is different and we are all okay. Why do you lie to them? They want me to move back and get married. Why would you live in England and struggle when you can move back to Austria and get married? They want me to marry my cousin. That's the royal family for you. But I don't want to be with a man. Neither do I. But I still got married. I might be gay. Not gay as in happy gay, but Gay as in gay, gay. Oh, so you are a lesbian? No. Yes, maybe. I don't know. Okay. 
lesbian. L -l 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 Leak. Leftover. Lesbian. Show me your fingernails. Lesbians have short hair and short fingernails. You have only short fingernails. So the chances are that you are a lesbian are 50-50. Do you play the guitar? No. 60-40 then. Do you like cats? Yes. 70-40 then. By the way, is that accent real? Yes, I talk like this. Funny. I think you are a lesbian. Have you ever kissed a woman? No. Well, you should, shouldn't you? But I can't. You are over 900 miles away from your family. You can do what you want. One of my ex-clients is one of you. She will show you the ropes. I'll text her your number. I do this for no extra costs. And you can follow me on Twitter. I've already tagged you. And I've had eight retweets. Having a good time with Austrian comedian Liesl? I can't believe she tagged you on Twitter. It's good because she promoted my comedy show and I got a new follower, Nutcase25. <laughs> the West End is a pub. It's a pub in the West End. I'm not prepared enough for tonight. Just like talk about the therapy session. Actually, there's something I need to tell you. What? I might be a lesbian. What? I did not find her that cute. No, no, not with the therapist. A general one, a general lesbian. Oh, well, yeah, I already knew that. We've been living with each other for a week and you've not brought a guy home once. She organized a date for me. What? You got a date out of therapy? I am so going back to her. Right, I've got you up first, okay? Uh, look, if they're not getting you, they're not up for it, don't worry, love. Just, just get your tits out, you'll be okay, yeah? yeah? Give me some applause, give me some love in the room, and let's get your first act on. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Liesl Frick. Hello, thank you. I'm from Austria. Normally when I tell the people I'm from Austria, they always say, ah, Austria, it's a beautiful country, good chocolate, nice people. No, that is Switzerland. <laughs> and some people think I put on an accent, but no, this accent is real. If I put on an accent, it would be something sexy, like French or Italian, but nobody puts on a German accent. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, Austria has a very good foreign exchange policy. We keep the good thing in the country and ship out the bad. We shipped Hitler to Germany, <laughs> Arnold Schwarzenegger to the States, and now I am here. <laughs> He's all right. Yes. Got your number. From Dr. Rosalind. I was ready for my new adventure. When suddenly, the past caught up with me.